Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. Thanks for joining me on this continuing discussion on 30 reasons for being Muslim. Uh, I hope you're continuing to enjoy Ramadan and that you are enjoying this series. Uh, for today's discussion, I want to look at uh, the reason that Allah shows us the way to find forgiveness or to seek his forgiveness. You know, often uh, people are in despair, they've committed sins, they don't know what to do and uh, they don't even know if Allah can forgive them or will forgive them. Uh, but Allah shows us in the Quran not only that he will forgive, but he shows us how to find forgiveness. People may often um, uh, look at uh, beliefs that uh, inform them about their faith and they may think that, okay, uh, God is so stern, he's uh, so just, he's not going to forgive anyone, and uh, we don't know what to do as a, as a result. Uh, but uh, the Quran tells us that Allah is not only that he's forgiving, but he shows us how he actually forgives. You know, in the Quranic story of uh, Adam, uh, on whom be peace, uh, we find the forgiveness of Allah. So here we have the lesson that human beings will fall, will fail from time to time, but God is willing to pick us up when we fail and teach us the way forward, hold our hand and take us uh, into the future. And uh, Surah 20, for example, and we find the story of Adam, and in the 122nd uh, verse, uh, we read, after Adam had uh, committed the sin, uh, then, then God uh, chose him and forgave him and guided him. And so what, what does that tell us? It means that God uh, did not leave uh, a burden of sin on Adam and on the human race after him, but rather God forgave him so that sin is over with uh, and done with. In the seventh chapter of the Quran, we even read uh, that God uh, showed Adam the words which are to be uh, recited in, uh, in, in seeking forgiveness. And in the second chapter of the Quran, uh, we uh, find reference to this, uh, that uh, God, uh, Adam uh, received some words uh, that he might recite. Uh, so Surah 2 verse uh, 37 uh, tells us, فَتَلَقَّ آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّي كَلِمَاتٍ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ so Adam received words from his uh, Lord and he uh, turned back to him. Uh, certainly he's off uh, forgiving and uh, he is merciful. And the words are actually found in Surah 7 verse number 23 of the Quran. These are words that Muslims continue to recite to this day very frequently. We read this in our prayers uh, and the words are رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا uh, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. So if you do not forgive us and have mercy on us, then surely we are the losers. So uh, we continue to read this uh, du'a, and I'm sure that you read this, uh, this prayer yourself, uh, whether in Arabic or in a language that uh, you prefer, because God understands uh, all languages. Uh, so moving ahead with this, uh, we see that in the Quran, we are taught specifically how to seek that forgiveness of God. So uh, three things are mentioned in Surah 25, verse number 70, uh, where God says, Except for those who uh, repent and do good deeds, uh, repent and believe and do good deeds. Three things. What this indicates to us is that we should be turning back to God. After sin, we are repenting, we are remorseful, and we're asking God to forgive us. And we reaffirm our belief in God. Uh, we reconnect with our Creator. And we follow up by doing good deeds uh, as well. Our scholars looking at the totality of evidence in the Quran and uh, the Hadith and so on, uh, draw up some uh, simple uh, rules in terms of seeking forgiveness. These are the steps. Uh, be remorseful. Ask Allah for forgiveness. If you have harmed somebody else, repair that harm because you have to fix uh, the harm that you have done to others before asking God for forgiveness. I mean, not necessarily in that sequence, but you have to do the, the two because asking God for forgiveness alone does not uh, right the wrong that you have done to somebody else. It just gets you forgiveness from Allah. Allah is going to free your responsibility for what you have done against his law. But uh, you still owe somebody else something. You have to repay that. Or you harm somebody, you have to fix that. You have to make amends. 
uh, and uh, then follow up by doing good deeds as well. And of course, being, uh, you know, determined not to return to that sin again. These are the steps. And if we follow these steps, then we are assured that we get forgiveness. This uh, makes it possible for us to move away from sin, walk away from it, uh, feeling empowered now to go ahead and do good deeds and make the world a better place. So what does this all mean for the world? It means that uh, Muslims can uh, be empowered to do good deeds, not being overburdened with sin and despair. It means that uh, we might forgive others, knowing that uh, God is forgiving us. And it means that we have a clear way forward to seek that forgiveness uh, from God. So my brother, sister, friend, uh, thank you for joining me for this uh, discussion today in which we talked about uh, one of the reasons for being uh, Muslim, and that is the uh, fact that Allah shows us the way to find forgiveness. Uh, tomorrow, I'll discuss another reason, so be sure to join me tomorrow, God willing, and in the meantime, continue to enjoy the month of Ramadan. The most effective and far-reaching da'wah we can do these days is on social media. That's why we're developing the Muslim Media Hub. We're harnessing the power of media to spread the message of Islam. Please support this project at QuranSpeaks.com and share in the reward from God.